Hey, I'm Chef Tom. And I'm Chef Britt with ATBBQ.com. And this is Red, White & Q. Morning, guys. Hey, Joel. Good morning. How are you? Hi, Joel. Hi. I'm Britt. Hi, Britt. Joel Tom. Gerber. Good Tom. to see you. Nice to meet you guys. Thanks for coming out. We're here mostly because we really appreciate good agriculture and good product, and we're here to source strawberries. We heard you had some really good ones. We have great strawberries here. So we have uh, three patches with 20,000 plants, so we have plenty for you to come pick from. So we have three different varieties that you can pick from, um, but the best ones probably for your shortcake are gonna be right over here by the water hydrants. The AC Valleys would be wonderful because with the, with the sweet, clean, crisp taste that they provide along with the sugar and the dough of the cobbler, they'll make a really nice companion with each other to, to really be a wonderful, nice summer dessert. Perfect. What you're looking for is a berry that's all the way red, all the way around. We don't want any white on it because uh, that means it's not all the way ripe yet. Strawberries will not ripen once they are picked. And so you want something that's all the way red. The, the part on the, the crown on the top maybe is starting to be, starting to lose its green lush flavor and that is perfect. Sometimes in the middle of the season you have to go on a scavenger hunt and treasure hunt and find them in the middle. And so just pull them off, put them in your bucket, but before you do that, you better taste that one to make sure that you pick the right one. Oh. You guys weren't lying with the sweet part the sweet. in your name. So fantastic. <laughs> How many pounds of strawberries do you think you grow in a year? Um, well, very much depends on the weather. Uh, we've done as many as uh, 4,500 pounds. Um, we've done as few as 2,000 pounds since we've been started. So, um, but that's kind of been our goal is to not raise pounds of strawberries, but raise tons of strawberries. So it's kind of a fun thing when you can say, no, we literally raise tons of strawberries. <laughs> well, I'm really stoked about this cobbler that I wanna make. It's a uh, kind of a hybrid dessert where it's uh, a strawberry shortcake meets a cobbler. So the like a little biscuit dough on uh -huh. top and Roll it in powdered sugar and just go for that. Just something easy, you know? Well, it sounds delicious. Thank you for having us, showing us around, talking with us about all of the strawberries. We really appreciate it. Well, this has been great. It's a beautiful morning and yeah. relationships here between people amongst great food is uh, it's not much better. Right? So. No kidding. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. We're stoked that you guys are here doing what you're doing. Shout out to Joel and Leslie for hooking us up with the most amazing strawberries. We really appreciate everything you guys have done for us. So now I'm feeling really inspired to show you how to make a strawberry shortcake cobbler. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is make our strawberry pie filling. Um, I've got some strawberries here that I've already washed and hulled, but I wanted to show you guys how I hole the strawberries. So really all I do is I just, since I've got this nice stem here, I'll just grab onto that and I'll twist and pull. Pretty easy, right? You can also hold uh, strawberries with a paring knife. So you'll just hold uh, your thumb close to the tip of the knife and you'll go straight in towards the center and you'll just turn the strawberry around until you've removed the hole. So the next step is to uh, get this apple peeled and shredded. The reason why we're adding this apple into the cobbler is so that we can use the apple's natural pectin to help keep the strawberry pie um, filling together. Without this pectin, the filling would be very watery because most of the strawberries is essentially water. Not much pectin going on in there, so this is just gonna help us create better overall texture. 
All right, now I'm just gonna shred it with a cheese grater. And we're just gonna go right down to the core there. So we're gonna put this right in there. And then we'll start adding all of our other ingredients and we'll just um, let it sit and macerate for a little bit. So I've got a cup of sugar. I have a quarter cup of cornstarch. So I took a little note from Leslie and Joel and um, they said that their favorite thing to pair with their strawberries is balsamic. So I'm gonna add just about a tablespoon. You don't wanna go overboard here because we're adding basically just a little depth of flavor. And then you're just gonna mix it all together until all of the sugar and the cornstarch is incorporated. And we'll start to see some of the natural juices come out of the strawberries as it uh, macerates with the sugar. All right, I think we're about there. Okay, so now we're gonna transfer this strawberry filling to our 12 inch cast iron skillet. And then make sure to spread it out evenly so that when we put our shortcake biscuits on top, they'll sit evenly as well. So now we're gonna assemble our shortcakes. This is a pretty simple two ingredient biscuit that I've modified for our purposes here. So I've got three cups of self-rising flour. So I'm gonna add four tablespoons of cold butter that's been cubed small. So we'll cut this stick in half, I'll set the half aside for another day. And I'm just gonna... I wanna go for relatively small pieces. I'm just gonna add it all right in there. And then we're gonna just start incorporating it with our hands. So we're gonna take each piece and we're gonna just rub in the flour. The butter here is just adding a, a depth of flavor, giving us that buttery flavor that we love so much in our biscuits. It's also gonna give us a little bit of texture. Now a lot of Biscuits will say to incorporate the butter until they're like roughly pea sized. Um, in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and fully incorporate until I don't really see any pieces of butter. Once it gets harder to see those patches of butter, I'm going to start just really squishing them with my hands. All right, I think I'm about there. I'm not seeing any significant pieces of butter floating around. It's mostly incorporated into the flour by this point. So I think I'm ready to add my cream. All right, so I've got two and two thirds cup of heavy cream here. I'm just gonna add all at once. And make sure that the cream is nice and cold because otherwise you're all the leavening agents that are in the flour are gonna start reacting right away. I'm just gonna take a fork and just mix it until it just comes together. It really doesn't take long. I'm just looking for no significant patches of heavy cream. That's about as far as we wanna go. So we can see that some of the juices are starting to pool on the bottom. That's gonna combine with the cornstarch and the sugar later to create um, a binding agent, essentially, for our strawberry filling. So now what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to uh, scoop out the dough, uh, creating my biscuit, and I'm going to roll it into the powdered sugar to create a, another level of sweetness and a nice texture on the outside of the biscuit. 
and then I'm gonna arrange them on the top of our cobbler. So we'll just get a good scoop. We'll just go directly into the powdered sugar and you'll just roll it around until it's completely coated. And you'll wanna be delicate because they are very tender. And I like to just kind of get that excess sugar off. And we'll just start on the edge and work our way around. I think ultimately we get about 18 biscuits total. You can always fill in the gaps later, or rearrange it however you need if it doesn't work out exactly how you thought. You could easily, honestly, take this biscuit recipe and just bake them on a pan and do an old fashioned shortcake recipe where you just macerate the strawberries with sugar and then you just cut your biscuit in half and serve it with a little bit of your macerated strawberries and a little whipped cream if you want to go old fashioned. But I like the idea of like taking a pre-existing idea and like flipping it on its side. So that's what I'm doing here with the strawberry shortcake cobbler. So I'm just gathering up whatever remainder of this dough that I have. I'm just gonna make a little half biscuit with it. And we'll just tuck it right in the middle there. Now we're gonna head off to the grill. All right, so we're gonna do this on the uh, 640S today. I've got it preheated to 400 degrees. And we're just gonna put it on the bottom shelf here, away from the direct heat source. So we're gonna let this bake for 45 minutes to an hour. We're gonna check it at about 45 minutes and it'll probably need to go for that full hour. Okay, so it's been about an hour and 15 minutes. I've been checking it along the way to see where we're at and we just needed a little more time. So I think we're probably right about there. So I'm gonna check with the thermopen here to see where we're at. I'm gonna go right towards the middle. Perfect, we're right just above 200 degrees um, and I'm just aiming for the center of the biscuit. That's the temperature that we need our biscuit to be. The pie filling should be roughly in a similar area, maybe a little higher. So this is right where we, right where we wanted it. I'm going to let this sit for about an hour here um, just to let the pie filling set up. Um, while I do that, I'll probably whip up a little cream and we'll just get ready to serve it. Mm. You can eat it just like it is, or if you want, you can go a little extra and add a little whipped cream. If you prefer a little splash of balsamic. And maybe just a little sprinkle of powdered sugar. I'm gonna try and get a little bit of everything here. Yep, this is hitting all the flavors. We've got sweet, We've got the unctuous, like wet cream. We've got the little tang from the balsamic coming through very nicely. And it's even nice because the strawberries are still nice and warm and it, the contrast with the whipped cream is really quite enjoyable. Thanks again to our friends over at Sweetberries and Brambles for hooking us up and letting us chat with them a little bit. Feel free to head on over to atbbq.com to check out some more and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to check out the next episode of Red, White & Q where we'll be making a delicious summer brew. Thanks again, bye!